Hello and welcome to Stack Builder video tutorials. Uh, this video starts a series of, me of videos uh, about capabilities of Stack Builder uh, and let's get started with the general overview. On your screen you see the main Stack Builder UI. Uh, I'm currently using version 8.4 as you can tell from the title bar. Uh, your version of Stack Builder may be slightly different. Uh, please reach out to us um, in case you need some details of how to obtain the most recent version. So let's get started. Um, on your screen you see a left ribbon with the major stack builder functions or stack builder modules and there is a top ribbon which um, allows you to get a quick access to the features of stack builder or to customize the views uh, or to do some basic operations. Uh, there are several main modules. We'll go over them one by one at a very high level and you can watch our um, following video tutorials for more details about those features. A uh, new guideline allows you to create a new guideline from one of our standard databases. Here I have installed just a few of them but there are much more uh, available and provided out of the box by Edifex. When I say standard database, that literally means the out of the box package, which contains uh, all versions and all transactions for the certain standard. Now I'm browsing X12, but we have also H07 and CPDP, we have Edifex available, and many more. So when getting Stack Builder, you can also get the out of the box pre built specifications for the particular standard. And as you can see, we have all versions from the very old up to the most recent one. And we'll talk about the guidelines in a little later. The new map allows you to build the map or the transformation logic between two, uh, we call them guidelines, between two specifications. Uh, we'll again talk about the mapping and all the details in a bit later. Uh, open, this just gives you access to the pre-saved guideline which you created before. Stack Generator is the tool which allows you to generate the specification or the guideline uh, from your uh, existing data file. It is kind of reverse engineering. Again, for that we will have a special session and you can look into the details of what is this feature and how it works. Data generator is a reverse tool to generate the data uh, out, of the, uh, out of the specification. So basically it gives you ability to generate some test data and you define the way how you want the test data to be generated. How many optional segments, how many transactions, how many interchanges and so forth. Analyzer is a module which analyzes the data, it verifies that the data complies to the specification, it gives all the errors if there are any uh, in the data file and you can very easily and intuitively navigate to between the data and the place in the specification which causes some particular error. Migrator, uh, this tool allows you to uh, solve the following problem. Um, this is the most typical use case. Uh, imagine there is a uh, existing version of let's say X12 guideline which is 4010. You apply some customization to that guideline. You exclude certain segments, you remove or add your segments based on your trading partner agreement. And tomorrow uh, there is a new version of X12, let's say 6020. So you cannot just take the 6020 out of the box and use it because for that trading partner you already agreed that certain segments would be excluded or deleted or added. So what you have to do is you have to take all those edits that you've done to uh, 5010 guideline and now redo them on the 6020. Wow, that may sound like a lot of work. So in order to automate that, we created this module. Uh, what it has, it compares side by side two guidelines, the user guideline, we call it user guideline, which means the guideline with custom user modification and the new standard guideline. 
and then it understands all the differences and it will prompt you to either automatically migrate everything which means it knows the structure it knows that these changes uh, have been made by user so they will take those changes and migrate over to the new version so really in a couple of clicks you would get this 6020 with all your custom modifications and i'll show you how that works in the following videos data comparator is pretty much the tool which allows you to uh, see side by side two data files see the differences and if needed move the differences from one file to another kind of similar to migrator but it solves the problem of comparing of two data files data explorer is a very powerful and new uh, module within spec builder which allows you to do a lot with data modification it is very lightweight but yet very powerful tool to edit data to do the identification and lot lot of other tasks that you can do with the data and we'll have a special video dedicated to data explorer to research uh, all the details of this product in more depth standard reference uh, this is pretty much the like the reference book for x12 transaction you can pick any version and you will see the all the segments which are included in this version uh, grouped by control segments and other logical distributions these are the transactions you can browse this structure you can see what each segment means and so forth similar ability you would get with creating the guideline and even more let me show you how that looks for example let's pick 5 to 10 guideline 5 to 10 guideline and i'm gonna start with purchase order so i will create the purchase order so this is the document editing for the specification we call the specification a guideline physically this guideline will be stored in the file called in this case spec1.ecf and as you can see you can very quickly learn a lot about your structure you can see all the segments all the loops you can expand the loops expand the segments traverse through the elements uh, you can see what code lists are on the elements on the right side there is a property properties tab and it gives you all the information but even just looking at a glance at this guideline you can see in the columns all the key data that you need for example this is the <coughs> this is the decimal decimal point uh, field which has a length from one to six uh, it has the relational standard option and it is marked as used this is mandatory mass use type id and so on so even without looking at the properties pane at the right you can just traverse your um, structure and see all the details about this specification and of course that's not all you can for example exclude certain segment uh, you do some changes to the segment structure for instance you may choose to remove certain fields if you do not need those and you can for example apply the user nodes user nodes are um, mechanism to communicate certain information from uh, the guideline creator to somebody who would use that guideline or that implementation guide in the future for example we can type something like please perform custom verification verification of this data using the let's say database information information for the customer quote great to apply we can go ahead and save that 
Now what you can do with that is you can go ahead and print that out. We can just check the print preview to see how that looks. We pretty much have all the segments, all the elements. You can traverse them in here. This is the summary for the entire transaction. It outlines all segments and all the key information about them, including the loops and the nested looping structure. After that, we publish the segments one by one, giving all the details about the segment itself, about all the fields, all the descriptions. The content which is published here is customizable, so you can choose to publish or not to publish certain information. Uh, if we traverse to our PER segment, then we can see all the IDs in here. Now what we can do is we can close that out, we can go to document options. This section controls the settings of this document. It defines what you print, how some certain things must be printed. So for example, I will enable printing the cover page, indicating I want to have all this information to be there. Uh, I can go to segment and I can enable printing the user nodes. Let's say we just print the user node one because we just have this one user node in here. We can click OK. And now if we go to the print preview, then we see this cover page and this cover page is customizable. You can add the logo here or customize the overall look and feel of this page. The rest is pretty much as it used to be. We can quickly jump to our PER segment. And now you can see that there is a user node which we created. So whenever you print out this document, that user node will be in here. And whoever reads the document, besides the general standard information, they can also read your custom, uh, custom message which you needed to communicate to them. So this is, and you may have multiple user nodes depending on the usage. You can choose to define, let's say you can reserve the user node for the general information. User node two may stand for some technical data. For example, if your developer needs to build some edit, you can just type it in here, business edit logic goes here. You can save and again that can be published. This is freeform. You can use the rich text, like you can make certain things bold or highlight stuff. So whatever is needed in terms of formatting. And again, all that will be saved into the document whenever you publish the document. So let's conclude this overview by saving the guideline on disk so we can give it some name PO custom and we hit save and the file is stored it is ready for later use thanks for listening to this video and we'll see you shortly bye bye